Well, it looks like another Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealership could be in severe financial trouble. It could be going out of business. And I think Stellantis is doing it on purpose to cut a big section of their dealers out. What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. Now karma is an entire bitch. And what I mean by that is, you know, dealers, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealers have been screwing customers for the last 36 months on pretty much any Dodge product. Markups, Mickey Mouse stuff in the contracts, all of that. It's not all, but a majority. We've talked about it here in detail. And now it looks like Stellantis is like, yeah, guess whose turn it is to get, mm, yeah. Well, according to three different sources, friends of mine that work at Stellantis, on a phone call that happened today, they are not providing any more massive incentives to their dealers and they are making dealers take 2025 Rams and 2025 Dodge inventory like Hornets or risk losing their ability to sell Dodge products, period. And Stellantis is giving dealers money, let's say 1500 to two grand to take a 2025 Ram when they can't sell the 2023s or 2024s that they have now. Some Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealers, especially the Ram ones, have taken some of these 2025 Rams and they're not selling. Now, part of that is because these dealers are not discounting the 2025 Ram at all. Um, now, there are some incentives, but the dealers are keeping that. If you buy one, they are putting that in the contract. They are keeping those rebates. They are keeping all of that because they want to push the 2023s and 2024s out the door first. If you want a deal, the dealers are literally pushing people towards these other vehicles. Now, that's not going to work for long because they are still paying floor plan money on all of this old inventory. That interest adds up every month. And as we're seeing, there is a Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealership in Panama City, Florida, that is uh, in severe financial trouble. Now, how I found out about this was through another friend at Stellantis where these dealers are literally calling corporate and saying, for God's sakes, please help us. Is this uh, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealership in Panama City going to go bankrupt? It could. They could end up closing their doors and that inventory goes to auction or ends up going to other dealers. This is an entire situation manufactured by Stellantis. Stellantis is trying to force the way they sell cars or the way they do business in Europe here. And they are successful in other markets across the world. Not here. They're not successful here. And I think two things are going to happen. They're either going to force those dealers and they're going to cut... I'm going to guess between 18 to 25% of their dealers out. Meaning they're going to kick them out or they're going to go bankrupt, which means they don't have to sell their vehicles at a discount. But this is where the problem comes in. You know, the new Rams, the 2025s, are starting at a an average price of around $70,000 for a, a, a good optioned 1,500 Ram. Chevy, GMC, and Ford are all less than that. Now, Ram is fairly new. They, a, a couple years ago, they were calling it the Lexus of trucks. I get it. You know, nice luxury trucks. But I just don't see where Stellantis thinks that they're going to do this with their inline six Mickey Mouse BS when Ford still has the F-150 and can probably match the Ram 1500 spec for spec in terms of what it can offer. And the same thing with the GMC Sierra Denali. Like, uh, 
you know, a extremely well-optioned GMC Sierra is going to be cheaper than a Ram. And with all of the issues with the Hurricane engine that they're already having, I just don't, I see this as a massive disaster. It's like watching a train come down the track and you know that one of the rails on the track are broken up the line. You're literally just watching this thing, waiting to watch this thing derail and crash. And uh, dealers are starting to get it. I mean, I got phone calls. Now, you guys know we've talked about dealers. I've literally got I've literally got text messages and phone calls over the last three days from different dealers going, we're in trouble. Like, we're in trouble. For a guy like myself, and you've seen Butter, the Insider, OC Motivator, we've all talked about how these dealers have been screwing consumers. For these same GMs to reach out to us now to be like, hey, man, can we set up a promotional event? Can you come out and, you know, we'll, we'll literally sell these cars below sticker. We'll work with these customers. Can you come out and, and have like a pro, we're a good dealer event for our dealership? When these dealers are doing that, oof, oof. And West Coast dealers were on private phone calls with uh, their networks and stuff out there. Same thing on the East Coast and in the South. All of them are saying the same thing. The money is drying up. The, the margins are getting like this. And the interest is making the margins go away. They're losing money. Losing money. And as we're seeing with this dealership in Panama City, it looks like it's going to come to an end. You're going to start seeing Chrysler. It's going to look like 2009 all over again with these Chrysler dealerships that were closing up, boarding up. It's going to happen way faster than you think. I, I'm literally thinking before the end of football season this year, before the end of the NFL season, dealerships that you know and you go to every year are going to be closed up from Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. And it don't look good. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And as always, stay petty, my friends.